So what happens when the herniated disc occurs in the cervical spine? Well, it's exactly that. The disc, which I like to think of as um, like a jelly donut from Dunkin' Donuts, where this is the donut part. Well, the jelly part inside sometimes comes out and it pushes out. Now, if it pushes out towards the front, it's no big deal. You may have some neck pain for a while. If it herniates out towards the back, what does it hit? It hits a nerve, either the spinal cord or a nerve root, and then you get symptoms. You can get numbness, tingling, weakness, or pain, or all the above. So a herniated disc is when the normal disc ruptures, like squeezing that jelly donut, and some of the internal contents comes out. Now, in real life, it's not like jelly, but it's more of the consistency, sort of like chicken, raw chicken or crab meat. It's actually tissue, and it comes out a bit. It's not loose, it's not a liquid, but it, it, it definitely can come out and put pressure on the nerve. And that is called a herniated disc. If it's in the cervical spine, we call it a cervical disc herniation.